Hello my dear students. Let us continue with that chapter that is structured query language. In our previous video we have started with the topic that is SQL constraints. What exactly the constraint means? Constraints is nothing but the rules. SQL constraints means the rules that we can apply on the columns of the table. Okay. Then the such kinds of rules we can say it as SQL constraint. Say for an example, we have discussed as not null constraint. Now what is this not null actually does? Not null constraints actually ensures that what on which column we have specified as not null constraint, that particular column sh will have a definite value. It cannot accept any null values. Okay, so therein I am enforcing certain rules on that particular column. By applying those rules or the constraints, what actually happens is it provides us the accuracy and the reliability of the data. Okay, that means suppose for an example, when I create a table known as student, okay, create table student, okay, then student ID number of 5 and if I apply a constraint known as not null, it ensures that student ID column should have a definite value. No matter how many number of records you are entering, the student ID column should at least contain a definite value and cannot accept any null values. We know that student ID cannot have any null value. Am I right? So, this way we can apply the constraints on the SQL queries. Okay. Now, we have the constraints at two levels. We can have like a column level and the table level. So, what is this column level, you know, uh, SQL constraints we can apply is, so the constraints which are being specified immediately after the column definition, after the creation of column, whatever the constraints we are immediately applying, then we can say it as a, you know, column level definition. Then we have the table level definition. Table level definition means after one once the columns are completely defined at the end of the table if you are you know, uh, applying any SQL constraints then it is said to be as in a table level definition. I hope the concepts are clear here and then we have discussed the first constraint that is not null. As I said the not null constraint it ensures that all the rows in the table should have a definite value. So here in this example we have created a table known as the product wherein I have the field name as product ID data type and I have applied here as an SQL constraint. Now this is an example for the column level definition because I have specified the constraint immediately after defining the column. Then such kinds of example is said to be as column level definition and here description is also have referred as not null wherein the company name and price doesn't have any not null as in constraint. That means what company name and price these are the columns that can accept the null values whereas product ID and description cannot have a, any null value instead they need to have a definite value understood. So what was the syntax for the not null actually here in constraint constraint name not null so here constraint constraint name is an optional directly we can specify the not null here so as i have done in the h h its data type not null directly we have specified because it's an optional what is this constraint name constraint name is an user defined name now when i'm specifying for the age as a constraint name how do i write if this format if i'm following h int constraint here I would give here as age, okay. I would have given as age underscore n, then I would specify as not null. So this constraint name is an optional, it's a user defined name, anything. So that is a constraint name. So but this is an optional, therefore directly we are skipping it and directly mentioning the constraint. So this was all about, you know. Here I have given example, name, character, constraint, since constraint in a name is any user defined name, you can give anything here, then specify the not null condition. So this is all about the not null constraint. Now today we shall discuss about the next key that is the constraint that is unique. But before to that, one more example here I have given you in the form of table so that you can clearly understand. Here I have created a table known as an employee wherein I have created with the fields that is ID, name, age and phone. Look at the ID. 
so id i have applied a constraint known as the not null constraint i have applied when i have applied a not null as a constraint look does not allow any null values can you see any null values here no but look at the name and age okay phone number therein i have mentioned i didn't mention any kind of not null constraint therefore they are able to have the null values into it so this is how the example of the not null table looks like when you apply any constraint moving on to the next one that is unique as the name itself tells the unique would ensures that the column or the group of columns in each row should have a distinct value distinct value means unique value say for an example in my previous example here id okay 1401 is a unique 2109 is a unique 1909 is a unique value 1405 is a unique value when i apply unique constraint the same 1405 i cannot repeat okay every value in this particular column should be unique when i apply a constraint known as unique therefore unique is a key that should uh, would ensure the column or the group of column should have a distinct value means it should have an unique value but unique value means it will also allow the null value now i can say name column is again an unique okay it's i can apply the unique constraint here and it is also consisting of the unique values how you may say you it's having a null value yes null it is not repeated right it is only having once arya null john brand so these are all the unique values then the name can have an unique constraint i hope you are able to understand distinct value means all should have a unique value but the same thing null cannot repeat brand cannot repeat john cannot repeat understood so that's how the unique value and a column that can have a null value but the values cannot be duplicated that is very important a column can have null value but cannot have a duplication now let us see the constraint we have at the column level and this table level column level constraint is same for all the uh, you know constraints like constraint constraint name directly mention the unique so here again this is an optional but at the table level at the end when we are defining it should have constraint constraint name unique and we do have to specify on which column we are specifying the unique constraint i'll show you with an example there so first example for the column level create table employee id its data type then constraint here constraint name what i have given as employee id this can be any user defined data type that specify the constraint as unique comma then one more field i'm specifying as name work at 2 of 10 or the same thing you can even write as create table employee id int unique why i have not mentioned this one because it's an optional directly you can mention the constraint name then comma the next field so this is how the example at the column level i hope students you are able to understand moving on to the next one that is the example for the table level create table employee id int not null constraint i have applied wherein id cannot accept any null values then name work at 2 of 10 then i have applied constraint employee id unique plus on which column i have to specify that unique uh, constraint that is you have to mention the column name here that is id this is the example for the table level constraint constraint name then the con, and, uh, this one uh, what is the constraint okay then on which column you are specifying that constraint that means id is having two constraint it should not have not null values also it should not have plus it should also have the unique values that means id cannot accept null values plus all whatever the values are there should be distinct i hope you are able to understand moving on to the some more examples here about the unique constraints at the column level one more example i have shown you that is the customer table create table customers okay where here and you can see the id int not null name work at okay not null again i have applied constraint here age int not null unique directly i have given here address 
character data type it is salary decimal this is again a data type and then primary key so you you can neglect this primary key which i'll be explaining in the next i mean uh, next constraint it is primary key understood so till here it is nothing but so which column is having age age is applied with a unique constraint that means the student customers age cannot be you know repeated it should all have the ages how many customer no matter 10 records or 15 or 20 all the customers age values whatever you are entering should be distinct or unique suppose you have forgotten like you know uh, you have uh, forgotten to give the unique constraint of any of the field later you have to after the creation of table you want to add the unique constraint then we can also use the alter command to add the constraint there are two ways one by using create command and one by using the alter command at the time of creating the command uh, table if you are unable, if you have not given any constraint by using an alter command we can also specify the constraints for that alter table table name this is modify is a keyword like how we have alter table is a keyword it's a syntax right the same way alter table which table you want to alter alter means you are making the changes to the structure of the table that is the reason we are using the alter command i have given the example difference between the alter and the update right so alter table table name modify what you which column you have to modify that is age specify their data type and next specify their constraint not null then unique you are you are applying a new constraint here as unique so after this automatically the age would get an unique suppose if i haven't specified any constraint to the age by using the alter command later also i can specify the constraints to it similarly if i want to give the provide the unique constraint to the multiple columns okay multiple columns if i have to give then you also you can write by using the alter command that is alter table table name add constraints because multiple columns i am providing so add constraint this is a constraint name that is see it's a user defined constraint it is a user defined name it is that's why i have given as my unique constraint here then constraint name as unique then specify the column names which columns you want to be as unique age and salary this means that how many number of customers records they are having they age and salary column should have a distinct value now this is again the table level constraint am i right so this was all about the unique constraint okay uh, one of the example i can show you here okay now this let us consider this is an uh, you know a student table wherein we have the fields like name age marks and id okay so you can see here this id we have applied an unique constraint therefore all the values in this particular id column should be different but wherein you can see there other columns i haven't applied any unique constraint there can be a repetition here uh, name they are again having they can be a repetition or they cannot be okay but look at the age here the two students ages are 21 the values are repeated here marks also you can see here there's uh, here also 93 here also we are having 93 so these three the name age and marks they can allow for the duplicate values but wherein we have applied a unique constraint on id they cannot have any duplicate values all the values should be there distinct or unique i hope the concept is clear moving on to the next constraint that is the primary key very important and a very interesting you know uh, constraint that is the primary key now here in case of the primary key okay it is a constraint that uniquely identify each record into the database that means primary key is a combination of not null plus unique okay primary key is a combination of not null plus unique that means with an example i'll explain you okay here we have an example for the table that is employee id okay that is sorry table name as employee wherein we are having the fields like employee id name department age salary city and aadhaar number now here in case i'll make an employee id to be as an you know primary key because there in case name the records can be repeated 
department also the records can be repeated as you can see there age can be repeated salary city aadhar card again and unique it is the or otherwise other also you can make it as an a primary key here but primary key is a constraint okay wherein it can be uniquely identifies each record into the database table then whichever the column you are mentioning as primary key should contain an unique values and the primary key column cannot have any null values therefore i can specify the employee id to be as primary key understood now suppose for an employee they may provide aadhar card or they may not provide the aadhar card we may get their aadhar number or we may not okay but the primary key is the one which cannot have any null values so therefore i am making this employee id to be as primary key therefore i said em primary key is a combination of both the not null as well as the unique constraint whatever the records you are entering into the primary key column all should be unique or the distinct plus the primary key column cannot have any null values then each table can have only one primary key understood then the primary key can be a you know one column or the combination of columns i can make like two columns to be have a uh, two columns i can combine it as one as one of the composite key and then i can have the primary key later i'll explain about that then we can use the create table or alt command to create the primary key so as in previous i have shown as with the unique uh, with the alter as well as the create command we can add the constraint unique constraint similarly whenever i am creating the primary key i can even use the you know the create command as well as the alt command i can use so here and i'll just show you the example how to uh, you know specify the primary key constraint now here i have created an a table known as employee so create table employee id number this is data type then specifying the constraint name as primary key so when i specify this constraint this id column should have all the records different that is unique plus it cannot have any null values comma name character department then age salary city character okay so when i execute this query when i you know press enter automatically i'll get a table created wherein the id is will be as an a primary key similarly this is a column level uh, you know query similarly i do have with the table level okay so table level what it is sorry this is also the column level only but here what happens constraint name is an optional here okay here i have directly given there one uh, syntax i'll show you of constraint uh, this one primary key you can see column name data type constraint constraint name primary key so in my first example i have skipped what is there in the optional this is column name data type that constraint constraint name was an optional so directly i have mentioned but similar the same table i have can even write in this way also create table employee id number constraint specify the constraint name then specify the constraint then mention all the rest of the fields so this is one of the example how to create the primary key at the column level so students whatever the examples have been shown please make a note of it and all these queries you have to practice because these are very important from even uh, from your practical point of view also okay thank you students take care of yourself further more topics we shall discuss in our next video thank you